So, Aaron Bean is the number one team in the league. They won the league last year. And they just had their nine-match unbeaten run ended. Not by us. And we play them back-to-back in the Dutch Cup semifinal and a league match. What can go wrong? Hey guys, it's RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager 21. This is episode 63 of our Climbing the Ladder series with DeGroff Shop in the Netherlands. And uh, yes, a 4-3 win over NEC last match uh, with goals coming from Martin Vanderhorst, Dimitro Dickey, Zlatko Jazvich, and Jan DeVos with the game winner. Two goals in a three-minute span. Uh, luckily, because they got a penalty in the 81st minute. I'm still buzzing from the 2-2 comeback draw with the uh, debut goal by Ishan Babel. Or, well, no, it wasn't a debut, but it was his first goal for the club in Champions League for the youngster. you got to remember, he's only 17 years old. Boy, he looks good. Uh, we are playing Heronveen in the Dutch Cup semifinal, and we are also going to play the second leg of the Bayern Munich match today on camera. We'll play Heronveen and Eindhoven in between that off camera. Taking a look at our team selection, we're going with Mohamed Kara in goal, a back three of Paulo Vitor, Kurdov, and Dimitrovic, a midfield four of Baumgartner, Foldy, Nagy, and DeVos. Jansen in the number 10, Ebers and Dickey up top. Vitor hasn't been playing well, but he's having to step it in today. But we certainly have our work cut out for us. Heronveen is a tough out. Oh my goodness. They got the flick on header. It went over Kara. Dickey does get the clearance. He is off to the races. And he is up to the touchline, but it's knocked away. Let's try to give him some encouragement here. Ooh, man. All right, we're in the green. Heronveen in the white and blue. And they are just off to the races with highlights in the early going. There's a through ball. Nobody's on him, and he beats Kara at the near post. I've really been disappointed in Kara. He's he's made some good saves, but he's conceded some really crap ones too. And it looked like he was edging for that shot to go across him. All right, we need to get a quick answer here if we can. DeVos, Nagy, lays it off to Foldy, who's already on a yellow. Through ball! And Dickey makes the run onto it for his fourth goal, and we have equalized. That was much needed. They had the defensive touch away, but luckily it didn't go very far. We were able to get a foot on it to just knock it out for Dickey to run onto. That one is cleared away. It's Stam on the counter. He is past Jansen, but he makes a brilliant slide to get his foot around and in front of that ball to set up a corner. And Kara comes out. He's been very aggressive in, uh, you know, on set pieces like that, which has actually not been a bad thing. He's, he's made some really good plays. All right, Evers, it's cleared out. Paulo Vitor's back on it. Baumgartner. He's got a little bit of space. There's Foldy. Nagy plays it back again. Oh, there's a nice ball, but Baumgartner can't make the run. And we are on the back foot now. Oh, their keeper looks like he's picked up a little bit of a ding. And there's a big through ball. Dimitrovic caught out of position. Kara flubbed that ball a little bit on the line, but luckily stayed in front of it. 
Wow. Let's demand a little more here. And there's a breakaway. Kara makes himself big, stays in front of it. But boy, our back line is getting torn open a little bit. All right, that one's headed away. DeVos stays back defensively. And we're into the 25th minute. All equal at one. DeVos gets past, stays on his feet. It's Dicky, And... Oh my god, he bounces it off the woodwork. I thought it was going in. Both him and Pilk, the keeper, were going after the ball, and he just got his toe to it first and knocks it through. Second effort by Dickey. What an effort. Oh, that is great, great effort by the young striker, and we are up 2-1. And we needed to do a little better there. Baumgartner. Taken down hard, and that's going to be a penalty. They're probably going to go to VAR, but we should get the call here. Oh, and Christian Latorte is berating his players from the touchline. And we do get the penalty, and it's going to be Dickey. And he puts it in, and I believe that's a hat trick. Yes, his sixth goal, and that is a hat trick here in the first 28 minutes. What a game for him. Good finish. 3-1 to the Super Farmers, and he's playing a 9-2 and looking good today. All right, we find ourselves in a pinch again. Jansen clears it. A little flick on header. Ebers beats Rask, and he's in. And he gets a second attempt, and that's his 22nd goal of the season. And it's 4-1 DeGroff Shop. Now, remember, we play them again in a league match. I don't think we've got a shot at the league, so I honestly think this is the bigger match for us. I'm sure they would like to win the cup, but they're looking at the league title. So they're probably okay giving this one away if they can, you know, but they're going to probably take it to his next match, I would bet. That was a poor clearance effort. Oh, they go over the top. Dimitrovich gets up for it, though, and clears it. And DeVos loses that one. That was unlucky. But we are looking solid in this one. Now, how much of that is just, you know, cup, cup let down for Heronveen? Baumgartner cuts off the angle, but that's a big, strong pass outside. Ba plays it back towards the midfield. Krisnik, is that our guy? No, we still have him, don't we? I'm going to have to look now. Oh, uh, and the back post header by Mahmoud, his fourth goal, cuts our lead 4-2. to two. That was not good. Uh, let's see, Krisnik. Okay, yeah, that's right. They have a guy named Krisnik, and so do we. We're Kernjik, not Krisnik. My bad. All right, DeVos with a throw. Baumgartner's there. Can we get another one back? That one's cleared. Dimitrovich is up. Oldie. That one's headed down. Just don't let them break out from this, please. I just got a call as well. So Vitor we brought in on loan. And, of course, we get a call. And that goes through to Jose. I'm hoping there's an offsides, but it does not appear to be. The reverse angle will give it. And, oh, I don't know, man. I'm questioning that, but they're not even going to show it to us. So it's four to three. They get two back late in the first half. Um, I'm going to point the finger. Boy, boy, boy. 
Jansen's on a 6-3. Nervous, apprehensive. I'm going to pull Jansen. Let's bring Resnick on for him. And Foldy's not playing great. Let's bring Grutunk on for him. Let's, uh, let's encourage him. All right, that's headed out, but boy, he's got an opening. Plays it back out, back across. Nobody's on him. Oh, uh, there was a big defensive stop. I think that was Kurtov that made the tackle. Got his leg in there to knock it away. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's, uh, let's demand more. Come on, boys. I really hate having to sub players off for underperforming because now when I've got guys getting tired, all right, we're going to sub him off 6'4 uh, or 6'5. Uh, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Demir is composed. I'm going to bring him on. Let's give him a pep talk. I have faith in you. Go out and make a difference. Confirm the sub. Okay, tactical change. We're going to make these guys support. And I want to do... Time wasting. Slow the pace down. Oh, come on. Baumgartner looking exhausted. Three minutes of stoppage time. And we play it out to the whistle. We hold on for the 4 3 victory. And we are through. Outstretched arms. All right. Big, big win. That was huge. 2.17 million for that. Dickey. We are going to give him all of it. All of it. And PSV will be our opponent in the final. Jumping back into the semis. Oh, they destroyed Fortuna 5-1. And remember, they beat us 4-2 in our last league match. So that'll be coming up next episode. But right now, let's play ahead. I have two matches to get through, but we're going to play Bayern Munich in the away leg coming up momentarily. Well, we made Heronveen pay a 2-0 league victory. Samal Demir with the goal and Klaus Rask conceded an own goal in the 77th minute. We got a clean sheet against the league leaders. That was huge. And then we came back against Eindhoven with a 2-1 victory. Kirill Kurdov scored on a penalty. Anton Kernjik ended 10 hours of game time without a goal in scoring the game winner. And we have gone on a good run of form. That has put us up into sixth in the table, just four points behind Feyenoord. So we have a shot. We've got a shot, but awaiting us today, the away leg against Bayern Munich in the knockouts. Oh, my goodness. Arsenal has gotten past Ghent 5-0 on aggregate. 5-2 for PSG over Standard. 4-1 Copenhagen over Newcastle. And Borussia Dortmund over Real Madrid, 3-2 on aggregate. Today's matches, Cardiff has a two-goal advantage on Red Bull Salzburg. PSV, a 3-0 advantage over Obalon Kiev. Man City, a three-goal advantage over Heronveen. And we are bringing that home draw, although we do have two away goals that we're looking at. I don't think away goals are going to play into this. We're going to have to beat them outright to beat them at all, or we're going to face elimination. Looking at team selection. All right, we are going to go with Kara in goal, Kaisela Kurdov, Dimitrovic, our only three center backs available in this match on the back line. Dimitrovic is a little tired. We'll have to watch that. Fournier, Gruntuk, Nagy, and DeVos in the mid. Fournier and DeVos getting the starts here. Babel has looked really good as of late, so we're going to play him at number 10. Ebers and Resnick up top. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. What a huge stadium. Look, even the, the, the corner luxury suites. Jeez. You don't see that in too many football manager stadiums. 
39 seconds in, we have the first highlight, Jabira. Oh, there's a big ball out, kept in by Jabira there. Dimitrovich tackles it away, and it's a near a back post header. Daniel Bauer puts it in, and we are down one goal at the one-minute mark. That, that's not what we needed here, fellas. Uh, we are going to have to demand more from the get-go. We need better. We need much better. They're playing a flat 4-4-2. Oh, another highlight to Bayern. They play it short. A oh, good block there. And Kara snags the second effort. Lumps it out. And they are right back on the attack. Gruntu tracking back. He gets beaten. There's the layoff. Oh, it's cleared out. Somebody got a foot in there. Couldn't tell who. Nagy tapped that one away, but couldn't follow up on the defensive effort. Come on, boys. Fournier. He gets beaten. And that one goes over. Looks like he actually beat Kara with the shot. All right, Grutunk finds Fournier on the throw. Now Gruntuk loses it. Through ball to Defoul. Good block there. DeVos clears it, and it looks like our striker got undercut. And we get enough on the ball to get it out on the set piece. But there's an in ball, and it goes high. All right, let's encourage them now. Let's, you know, they've, they've been giving the effort. We're only 25 minutes in here. Oh, my goodness. And we have been on the back foot all match. That one goes across. Kara watches it go wide of the mark. And here's our first highlight. It's in, and Miyasi makes the save. We needed somebody just to make an effort there. Babel tracking way back to get the header on that one. Come on, boys. Oh, Dimitrovic just gets beaten poorly, and luckily it goes into the side netting. Uh, we're going to have to demand more again because we're just not playing well. Fournier's on a 6-4. Grutung's on a 6-3. Babel has picked up an injury, an arm injury. Uh, who are we going to bring in there? I think we're going to drop... Let's bring Jansen in for him. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pull Grutung as well. Grutung's in the central mid. Let's bring, I'm going to bring Foldy in. It's a little early, but we've got to go for it here. We've got to go for it. I really thought about bringing Nagy off with that yellow card. All right, they've got a, two players out wide. Fournier tracks over. And Kara makes the easy save there. We are still down 1-0. Three minutes of stoppage time. We do make it to halftime, just nursing that one goal. But we have yet to take a single shot. And we've conceded 22. Uh, I am going to have to point the finger. Let's go unlucky. All right, that motivates them. So good call by the assistant manager. Let's encourage them. But it's Bayern on the attack again. There's a deep ball. Barreto crossed in, cleared out. Oh, they are just picking us apart. Oh, and cleared off the line by Kaisela. Good job by him. They do get the corner, but oh my goodness. 
And there's Carl with the save. We just can't afford to go into a 3 0 hole here. Um, yeah, come on, boys. All right, that's lumped out. Flick on header. That's Ebers. Fournier's on it. Cleared across. It's DeVos. And it's in. Oh, my God. I thought that went into the side netting. It's an own goal by Mayasi, the keeper. And we have equalized it at one. And we've gotten an away goal. Oh, my goodness. Fournier with a nice ball out. DeVos. Second try, he tried to save that one with his leg instead of his hand. We got a little lucky there. Oh, my goodness. All right. We have got to pull something out here, fellas. Oh, they're pressuring, aren't they? Gee whiz. Oh, how bad is Ebers? I, I, I saw the injury. Potential foot injury. He's just not playing good. All right, um, damn, Babel got hurt. I could bring Zat. Oh, I don't have another striker. I do not have another striker on the bench. Jazvich can't finish. Jansen can't finish. Oh, my God. What do I do? Injury is affecting him. Problem is, I've got Resnick up there. DeVos is really struggling. Let's bring Demir on for him. We're going to keep Ebers on. I hope he doesn't get injured and have to come out. That would just be a, a killer blow for us. Oh, there's a ball in. DeVos is beaten. Nobody's on him. Push out, fellas. Do something and Bauer at the back post again. Damn it. Wow, there was a lag spike right there for some reason. Oh my god, what the hell? Um Oh, and they're just killing us now. Nobody's marking down. What is the deal? What is the deal? Tighter marking. Yeah, boy, that's two, two goals conceded in short order. Now, the only good news is if we can score two more, which we won't, but if we could, then that'll give us three away goals, and that would give us that edge. All right, we need... We need to fire them up. Just we've got some guys playing crap here. Kaisela's not looking good. We're into the 85th minute. Come on. Over the top. Flicked back to the keeper. I needed Resnick running onto that, but he didn't. Nobody there. Come on. Oh, my gosh. This has gone all wrong. All wrong. And another one at the edge of the six-yard box. And our, our guys are just being outclassed now. I can't really even blame them. I can't even really blame them. There's a foul outside the box. Palamek is going to line it up. Bends it wide. Yeah, I can't even say that they didn't deserve a 4-1 win. I mean, they just completely dominated us. 31, 38 shots to 3. A 4.03 to a 0.45. Um, I'm just going to go hands in pocket. I can't fault you. Nobody expected us. I, I think that's the right answer. We didn't expect to get past Bayern. We've got to keep the morale up. We're coming off of a solid cup win and a league win against Heron Veen. Not, uh, and, uh, yeah, we've got to, we've got to keep them up and motivated for that. Man City won that.
in the Champions League. Babel, okay, boy, he's out seven weeks. Let's send him to a specialist. It's a uh, fractured arm. Ouch. Ebers, only one or two days with the bruised foot. We get $11 million for that, guys. That's a win in and of itself. In and of itself. Boy, boy, you can make some. That's why Champions League, you can make serious, serious money there. It would have been great to have stunned Munich, Bayern Munich, but we knew that wasn't really in the cards. So I still think we played Bayern Munich to a draw. We beat Barcelona once in the group stage, and we advanced out of the group stage. I don't think we have anything to hang our heads about this year. We're still into the Dutch Cup. We have a Dutch Cup final coming up. Uh, so let's come back for, uh, I guess, oh man, 90,000 people. Whew, biggest crowd I think we've ever played in front of. How many did we play in front of against uh, Barca? Uh, no, 102,897 at Barcelona. So that's two huge crowds. I think we... We gave good account for ourselves. Nothing, nothing to hang our heads about. But uh, let's come back, play for some silverware next episode. We'll see where we're at in the league at that point, And we'll see if we want to play the season finale or if we want to come back for one more episode. If we're out of the league at that point with these next three matches, uh, if we don't have a shot at Europe, uh, we'll probably just play, you know, come back and uh, play Vitesse and end it right there. Uh, but let's come back and see if we can repeat as Dutch Cup champions this year. I think we've got a good shot. Uh, PSV is a good squad. They did beat us pretty handily last match, and they have actually beaten us both times, two nil in our opening match, four two last time. So we'll have to step it up. So we'll do that next episode. Hit that like button. Subscribe for daily football manager content. And I hope you guys come back because next episode could be the last one here at DeGroff Shop. Take care. Bye.